Newly launched phones have the latest chips and features, mid-range of flagship, but given all the hype surrounding the launch, all the money spent on ads and marketing, a phone's priced at its highest when it launches. So for those looking for a deal, it's usually a good idea to pick up last generation phones as they traditionally get a steep price cut, usually to sell off stocks. So in today's video, let's see which 2018 phones are kinda killer deals in 2019. Hey guys, Ash here, you're watching Safe for Retech. So the first phone on today's list, it's the Honor Play. It was a great deal when it launched at $19,999 last year, but it had its thunder quickly stolen by a certain other phone that also happens to be on, on this list. But at 14,000 rupees today, it's a good option. It's got the Kirin 970 chip, a 3750 mAh battery, a reasonably good 16 megapixel camera. It's not gonna win any camera awards. It's not gonna blow the IMX586 away for sure, but it's not a potato camera either. It's decent, the performance and battery life here are solid. For a 14K phone, it's definitely very good. And given that Honor's issues seem to be resolving, the Honor Play might be a good value for money option for most people. Now before we move on to the next phone, a big thank you to all you Twitter folks who helped me out with suggestions. You made this video happen too. So, the next phone on this list is the Zenfone Max Pro M1. In some ways, I think this was a stronger offering from Asus than even Gen 2. It launched at 11K and it was killer. Now at 8,500 rupees today, triple cut slot, 5,000 mAh battery, stock Android, excellent speaker, Snapdragon 636, it's a nice package. Again, the camera is where this phone is gonna feel last generation, but I still think the camera here will outperform any 8,500 rupee phone's camera, even for ones launched in 2019. So if we are looking at phones at this 8,500 rupee segment, the Max Pro M1 is probably gonna be one of the best options out there. Now, if camera is your thing, but you still want stock Android and you're stuck to a 10K budget, then the Mi A2 is actually on Paytm Mall currently at 10,000 rupees with even more cashback options with certain cards. Now, the A2 does not have the best battery life. It's okay, it's not bad. Uh, it will get you through a day of light to moderate usage, uh, but the cameras here are exceptional, especially at 10K. Remember, this phone launched at 17. So if you use the cashback and pick it up at 9K-ish, then you're buying it at almost half the price, making this one of the biggest discounts on this list. The chip inside still holds up. It's the Snapdragon 660, the same one you're gonna get with the Redmi Note 7. Now, remember to get a Note 7 that has cameras that can compete with the A2, at least to an extent, you'd have to get at least, you know, the Note 7S. The 464 for that costs 13,000 rupees. And even then you'd be getting ads and MIUI. So the A2 is a sweet, sweet deal for anyone who wants to avoid that. And by the way, if you've been liking what you've been seeing so far, please do consider turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now, next up, we've got the OnePlus 60. Over the last few weeks, if you've been seeing my coverage, you'd be seeing me detailing how the OnePlus 7 is a great phone, how OnePlus have given a new camera and a new chip, all while dropping the price by 5,000 rupees. But hey, that was compared to the 60's launch price. The 60 at the moment, it's got a 10K price drop by itself. So it is priced 5,000 rupees cheaper than the OnePlus 7 at 28,000 rupees. The last gen IMX519, that's the camera on the 60. It's not a bad sensor at all. It's paired with a lens that also has optical image stabilization. And the Snapdragon 845 chip inside is still killer, especially when it's coupled with Oxygen OS and Oxygen OS kind of makes it feel flawless. The OnePlus 60 is smooth AF gaming, day-to-day -day use, whatever it is that you want to do here, the 60 should be able to get it done very quickly. So if you want to save yourself a few thousand rupees while still enjoying an excellent flagship level user experience, the OnePlus 60 might just be an option today. And by the way, if you want to pick up a skin like this for your phone too, check out our sponsors dbrand. They have an excellent selection of perfectly cut out skins for top phones that you can mix and match to your heart's content. Check them out if you haven't yet. I'll leave a link to dbrand in the description below. Now from the OnePlus 60, let's move on to the LG G7. Now there is a reason why I can't recommend the G7 wholeheartedly. Of all the phones on this list, including ones from Honor and Xiaomi, so-called Chinese brands, LG happens to be the only one who's not yet provided a Pi update. 
enough. We've seen phones that are budget phones, phones that are priced at 8,500 rupees. And now we are talking about a LG flagship. It's July 2019 and they are still rolling out by in phases to regions. Now that said, the LG phone, it comes with a Snapdragon 845 chip. It's got an ultra wide camera. It's got manual video, IP68 water and dust resistance, wireless charging support, quad HD. These are things you don't find on other phones on this list, let alone phones on, I mean, phones that are priced at 28,000 rupees. And especially if you're an audiophile, the G7 with its quad DAC is a must buy. That is, as long as you're willing to put up with LG's wonky software support. Now that we've talked LG, let's talk Samsung. The Galaxy S9 Plus. This one launched at 65900 but sells at 43990 right now. Sometimes it's available even a little cheaper. With all of what I've just mentioned, you know, that's still here. IP68 water resistance, uh, Quad HD resolution, wireless charging. The S9 Plus has an amazing AMOLED Infinity panel that flows at the edges. It's powered by the Exynos 9810, which is a very powerful chip. The 3500 mAh battery inside should measure up. The camera is still excellent, even by today's standards. There is a telephoto option with OIS, and at the end of the day, some people want to go with a tier 1 flagship, some people want a Samsung, and if you're one of those, the S9 Plus, it sure is feature-packed. It is much better value today than it ever was before, and I guess it is something that you should consider. Now, before we move on to our top pick, here are a couple of honorable mentions. The iPhone XR launched at 76,900 and it currently sells at the high 50,000s. Uh, the Mate 20 Pro launched at 70K and currently retails at 60K. I mean, if you like these phones, these are good options. Now for our top pick, I'm sure you know what's coming. I'm sure you guys know what I'm gonna say. I've dropped hints so far, but hey. I wanna play a game. A guessing game, so pause. Let me know what you think is gonna be my top pick. Leave a comment. Let's see if you guys can get it right. No peeking. Okay, here goes. Our phone of the year 2018, it still remains relevant in 2019. The Poco F1. Launched at 21K, currently sells at 18,000 rupees. Not a great price cut, but it is still a great deal. Yes, the K20 and K20 Pro are coming, but the K20 is a Snapdragon 730 phone, it's not replacing the 845 toting Poco F1. It's a different beast altogether. And the K20 Pro, it seems like it's gonna be priced almost twice as much. So it seems likely that the Poco F1 will still remain in a class of its own and will continue being the best bank for your buck performance focused smartphone out there with great battery life and reasonably good optics, led down only by that planned build. But at this price point, who can complain, right? So there you go, the best 2018 phones that you should be looking to buy in 2019 if you want to get the most out of what you pay. Are there any deals that I missed? Is there any other value for money options out there? Let me know in the comments below. And the links to buy all these phones, I'll leave them in the description, so check that space. Uh, and I guess that's it. So what do you guys think about this video? I mean, did you like it? Did you hate it? Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt. Uh, if you have any other video ideas, if there's something else you want me to do a video about something different like this, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to get that done. And uh, I guess it's time I bid you adieu. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.